Hello everybody and welcome to the fifth game of the of Group D. This time we have Nexus from Italy versus Zach Blaster from Brazil. The bands were Jake and Sammy, both banned Vandalism, and Zach banned those other maps, so they're playing on Stalingrad. And let's get the game started. Zach is playing Jazz again. And Nexus is playing Adder. Last time Zach really used Jazz powers well, I guess. He didn't build too many Battlecopters, even though Battlecopters are important in this map, he mostly captured tanks and, and fire and got some decisive advantage on, on the fights here. He denied this phone tower for a really long time, so let's see what he does this time. He's on the other side now. Zach won his first two games, so if he wins this game, he's guaranteed to be first place of the group. Nexus didn't win a game yet, so let's see what happens. Right now both players are just going for the normal captures, capturing a bunch of properties. Nexus goes for an early artillery on this side, really interesting. Zack is just capturing. Let's see if he starts with a, a recon or goes for something else. He gets a tank, actually. Right now, both players are just capturing. I guess there is no way they're not gonna be even. I guess Stalingrad takes quite a while to get going. Neither of the players are going for some early transport, maybe Zack goes for a transport copter, I guess last game he he had one, I'm not sure. One of the players I think had the transport copter, but I can't. Oh, it was, actually it was on the Birds on the Wire game. Right now Nexus is going for a tank on the other side, the side where Zack is gonna capture this phone tower. Zack has a tank here, probably looking for a recon that a lot of players put here to harass. Zack himself was denied this phone tower for quite a while with his recon. Right now Zack goes for an entire on this side. Nexus is getting some captures. I guess they're gonna be. I mean, Nexus is ahead, I guess, on capture because he's gonna get this. this airport and Zack is gonna get you. I mean, he's gonna get you. I mean, they're even. <laughs> they're not really. They're, no one is ahead for now. Zack gets his phone power, he starts capturing this property here that Nexus has already on his side. Now he's coming in with the entire and some other infantry. I guess one of the reasons I'm not a big fan of Stalingrad is that you really take so much time to start engaging. We are at day 8 and the players didn't even see each other's units yet. Yeah, this tank can't see, can't see this infantry here. I guess Zack will be the first to see Nexus units here next turn, or maybe here as well, I don't know if he wants to put that thing here to, to deny the cone tower, I guess that's a bit too ballsy. Because you don't really know if the opponent has tanks here, and he probably has. Oh, there's a, a bug actually on the replay player, so we can't see the the name of the players anymore or the income. I don't know what that was about. Let me get going here again. I'll start the game again from the this point. Ok, 
okay, so we're back. Actually, there was a bug on the... Let me start the, the turn again here for... For Zach. There was a bug on the replay player that was already fixed, but I'm running an old version that I customized to edit sound, so I gotta update my the code with the changes. But I haven't had time to do that yet because I didn't change, let's say, properly the code. But I'll get around to that next time. But now we at least can see the the. The player names and the values again, sorry for the interruption. So right now both players are kinda even, actually Nexus is gonna be ahead after those captures in income, but he's behind on his phone tower capture and I guess this property that generally goes to, to this side or is at least contested is gonna go to Zack Blaster for now. Nexus He's coming in here, he hasn't seen, I guess, the units from Zek uh, for now. He's hiding this tank on this, this woods right here. Zek went for a, an artillery and an entire, and Nexus went for a medium tank right now. Let's see how the, that goes. He also has a, the artillery here, so I guess he could get some damage on this medium tank, but this artillery probably is going to this side and the medium tank to this side, so... Maybe they don't even see each other in battle. Right now Zack is denying the cone tower again, but this time with the entire. Maybe getting a bit impatient if Nexus has tanks here to kill this entire and the battlecopter, Zack would be in trouble right now on this side. But he do but Nexus doesn't, all his stuff is on the right side. And both players are gonna fight here soon I think. Zack went for double tank on this side, so yeah, I think he wants to really go hard on this side and mostly just hold his full power tower in front of Nexus is getting his artillery position here on these woods. The cone tower, he can't get the cone tower yet. I don't know if this tanks on this position was a good idea because he wasn't in position to capture this one power since this is further away from his bases and again we have the bug with the, the video tank and the tanks stack. I'm gonna have to fix the replay player soon. And since he couldn't get the the cone tower, I mean he should know that this cone tower is 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 the one that's closed, so having the tank here makes more sense than here because here you're not gonna be able to contest this one tower for the most part. I guess there's really a strong side for this player and a stronger side for this one because of the cone towers. You really don't wanna be without your cone tower like Nexus is right now and Zack also has a capture advantage let's see if this game also goes to the, the 30 property limit so far that was a bit of a problem with Stalingrad both players having the... I mean one of the players getting the capture limit I don't know why he said both players Nexus right now is trying to get those captures here he goes in for some vision with this 1 HP Infantry, he's got a medium tank here now, so he's able to fight. But I guess a battlecopter wouldn't hurt because he doesn't know if the, the enemy has a medium tank as well, or even a new tank at this point. Zach could have, I think. Nexus goes for a medium tank on the other side now. He starts capturing here, but I don't know if that's gonna fly. And right now, Zach. Capturing those bases, interrupts this capture with the recon, kills the infantry with the, his own infantry, kills this one as well. One HP infantry that was giving him vision. Nexus vision actually. Also get, takes disengagement, not that great. He takes 3 damage back. He sees this tank and now this tank is gonna take a lot of damage here. The entire interrupts the capture again of the cone tower. 
I think Nexus really needs to like surround these units and go hard his, here on this side to get the, the comp tower, but at the same time Zek is kinda coming in on his HQ as well, even though he doesn't have a, a whole bunch of stuff, he's even from switching here with this thing. He's moving his artillery forward, he doesn't want it to be seen by this tank for now, so he keeps it here, very clever. The tank comes in, does some damage to this entire, the other tank almost kills it, and the infantry actually gets the kill, he keeps on capturing, now he's gonna join it. I guess that's a good idea, since he needs this capture, and Zack wasn't able to one-shot this infantry. Now Nexus is getting some captures, but he's 3k on properties behind, and he's a bit behind on unit count as well. But I guess this should be almost even on unit count after Nexus buys, if he buys a Battlecopter or a Bomber, I don't know. I guess he can buy a Bomber, but if he buys a Battlecopter he can get 4 units and get... Eco, actually he kills this tank, he goes for this, the power the side slip of Ether to get this kill with the medium tank on the end of his turn and now Zack goes for the turbo charge as well which I think grants one extra movement to her to jazz vehicles this infantry comes here, see this, this is infantry kills this one the tank kills the other lower tank, the recon does a lot of damage to the, the infantry that infantry also does quite some damage to that other one, the tank comes in, um, does a lot of damage to the entire. The medium tank is coming in now from the base. He backs up a bit with the infantry to get a lot of damage on this tank, almost kills it, but not quite. The recon does some damage to the infantry as well, now he starts capturing this property and he already has 28 properties, so if he captures two he's gonna win the game. This 7 HP infantry kills that other one lower, that other lower one. And Zack goes for double tank and he doesn't move this artillery for some reason, I don't know. Maybe he's waiting to see where he wants to move it, but I guess he wants to put it kinda here, I don't know. Those infantry surround this one infantry, but right now Nexus is quite behind on unit count, he goes for a new tank. I don't know if that's a great idea, but he has a lot of money, maybe he wants to get a... Get, I mean, he can't get a Battlecopter and two infantry, so... I get that's, that's out of the window already. Unless he does a join here, I don't know. He goes for a tank and another infantry. I think a Battlecopter could be good, Zack doesn't have entire ready. I mean, this one is coming in, but... The Battlecopter on this side would have been great against this tank and the recon. Right now the medium tank is a bit overkill right now. Here, right here. I mean, the infantry here actually gets this lower tank. And Zack has 29 properties now as he captures this other one on the edge. He goes for this infantry. Finally Nexus got the this the phone tower capture, but he was without a phone tower for most of this game. So this really hurt him on all engagements, he had 10% 10, 10, 10 less firepower and Adder doesn't have any day-to-day -day abilities while, while Zack has the 10% on all his vehicles, the recons, the tanks and the entire, and the artillery I guess too. Yeah, I guess the artillery counts too. Now he goes for another medium tank, Zack here. Double medium tank actually, he's really far ahead in income, almost winning the game by properties. Now he's bringing in those units to repair here. He one shots this tank, oh, I mean artillery here, with the medium tank Nexus that is. One shots the Zack artillery here, but Zack has a medium tank ready here as well. So that's a bit more problematic for Nexus right now. Nexus coming in with some anti-air, but I think both players didn't go for battlecopters this game, only anti-air to kill units, and Nexus goes for the bomber right now, so he gets 4 units, 
And right now, Zach gets the, the last capture. The game says, it, says it's a, a draw, but it, it is in the draw. Zach won the game when he got the, the 30 properties. So that was it. Zach won again on Stalingrad. I think he played well with the Jazz pick. Nexus, again he denied the Cone Tower for a long time, and Nexus wasn't able to get it. This game he denied for even a long time, a longer time, and he was able to get a bunch of captures while Nexus was trying to capture this. And Zach got really far ahead. Actually, if you look at the arm value, Nexus is winning right now as he just bought the units. But Zach was winning on unit count for most of the game and he was winning most of the engagements. I don't know if the game went longer, if Nexus could have turned it around. He has a bomber now and Zach doesn't really have any anti air around here. But I guess Zach is so ahead on, on income that I guess it would be really hard for Nexus to win. But anyway, Zach won the game. He gets out as first place of the group as he won all his games. And Nexus lost all his game, so unfortunately he's last place on the group. But we still have the last game to go, so we can know if Jamie or Angels moved on. So don't miss that, and if you like this video, subscribe to the channel and like the video, and let's see you guys.